Hello. Hi. Almost didn't see you there. How's it going? I'm back, baby. It's Smooth DJ. Welcome back to the main channel. Or Gaming with Smooth, I should say. Yeah, it's been a minute, hasn't it? Wow. How long ago was the last stream? I think it was like Tuesday when I played Almost Human. I think that was the last time I played games with y'all. So I hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, we're going to go retro a little bit today because uh, I felt like... Um, Starting the week off with a good old classic that I used to play on PlayStation 2 quite a lot. And believe it or not, the game actually got a re-release on uh, current PlayStation hardware. So that means PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Hey, Crimson, how's it going, bud? And yeah, believe it or not, that game is actually out now. Uh, or, or the trilogy, I should say. Uh, all three Time Splitters games made it back to PlayStation. So that means Time Splitters 1, 2, and Future Perfect. Now... I'll save Time Splitters 1 for another time, but I wanted to start off with the good old classic that is Time Splitters 2, because I absolutely adore that game. I used to play the living crap out of that game when it came out. I just remember like when my best friend was playing WoW, I always fired up the PlayStation 2 and played that game instead. I think I made a I made a subjectively better choice with that one, but who knows? At least I didn't jeopardize my college degree with it, <laughs> unlike him. But hey, that being said, um, it's always good to be here. I kind of got up like an hour ago, so if I still look a little bit uh, tired, that might be why. But coffee helps. Mm. With that being said, let's fire up the game, shall we? Do let me know how the audio is, by the way. If it's too loud, let me know. If I'm, I need a little bumping, then uh, let me know as well. I'll be going through the campaign and maybe through some of the challenges. For some ungodly reason, I don't know why, uh, the game sets inverted controls to standard, which really, really boggled my mind. But yeah, it it is back to where it should be. I did a little bit of target practicing earlier so I could get used to the controls again, but it'll be fine. So let's get this party started. Let's go to story. I'm assuming there's a set difficulty, Out but... Of the darkness, they came with a hateful will to destroy humanity. We fought long and hard, but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our history. Our last chance is to strike back, seize the time crystals, and turn their twisted weapon against them. The fight for survival has begun. Well, good to know they haven't changed the graphics. Roger, you are clear to go. Proceed as planned, and good luck. By the way, I'll be okay with them re-releasing those games with better graphics. Could you imagine this game running on Unreal Engine 4 or 5? Man. And yeah, these games are a product of their, product of their time. Those games are from the early 2000s. I mean, just think about it. This game is from 2002. No slap. Hey. How's it going, dude? <laughs> you know, if there wouldn't be all this ordeal about um, Vin Diesel, he could totally play the main guy. I can't wait to play Future Perfect because that. Uh, going good, man. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Oh, no problem, man. I mean, it's the least I can do. I, 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 I remember uh, Nomi raided to you one time, and I was like, I could have sworn I actually. F I was actually following you, but then when I hopped on a kick, I realized that I actually wasn't. So I actually fixed that. But yeah. 
We're back with some retro gaming today. 1990 Siberia. Right, now, this is kind of funny because the ex-developers of GoldenEye64 worked on this game, believe it or not. So this is going to be kind of funny because this level that we're, we're about to play is very reminiscent of the opening of GoldenEye. If, if you know, you know. So this game can be enjoyed with two player or single player. I'm going to be playing single player, but I'm thinking about maybe seeing if the online functionality of this game is pretty good. If it is, then we might actually do some co-op. We shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They'll kill us if they find out. Come on, coward. <clears throat> Anthony, hey. How's it going, man? You know, there's something about these old 2000s games. They, they have a lot of charm, don't they? I'm just glad this game isn't stuck on uh, with EA anymore. <laughs> yeah, for the faint, uh, for the squeamish of y'all, there's zombies in this. <laughs> I forgot about that. Control, control, come in. <laughs> I love this game. Seriously, this is one of the most underrated shooter series of all time. And yeah, the characters always ad ad adjust their looks because they're they're going into the past, so they turn a dude into a chick. And like I said, you if you play Goldeneye, you will definitely see a little uh, resemblance of the opening level of Goldeneye. It's it's kind of funny. Even down to the opening shot. And as you can see, this is the un this is unchanged. This is the original graphics of how the game used to look. I I fucking love this series. Like I I, I need to replay the first one again. But Times of Just Two and Future Perfect are like great games. Oh, the music, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Give me that shit. Even down to the aiming. The, even the aiming is like very early to early shooter console shooter. Can I shoot out the cameras? That's the big, bigger question. Yeah, I feel like I'm having Parkinson's aiming like this. Okay, you can't shoot the cameras apparently. Okay, that works. You even have to toggle a button to crouch. This game was out on GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation 2, if I remember correctly. Like I said, sometimes it does show when you aim and shoot that they have this old the autisms that these the shooters on consoles used to have. Like with the little slightly wonky controls. But that's okay. They even have like the, the, the good old sound that they used to have. I need to crouch again so I'm not getting caught easily. I'm trying to be stealthy, but sometimes it's next to impossible in this game. Because dogs locked from the other side. But, but why though? Oh, fuck you, bitch. Haha. <laughs> No, no, uh oh, shit. Oh, so much for trying to be stealthy. I might be fucked now. That's okay. Get fucked. Oh, thank goodness. Did that motherfucker just sneak up on me? What the fuck? Psychotic Mongoose, hello. Yeah, welcome to some retro replay. I haven't played this game in like forever. So this is actually kind of fun. I love the sound design in this game too. I mean, granted, it's mostly stock sounds, but... 
It's it's just dumb fun. Okay, so we do anything else here? You even get like old radio broadcasts. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I should have known. Dang it. Can I actually destroy the cameras? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't checked, haven't I? I sh probably shouldn't do that while I'm, uh, while I'm confronting enemies. Okay, my asshole's dead. It's actually good that they, the enemies with armor actually have armor. Retro! Hey! Yep. It is, it is actually from the same people who did, who made Goldeneye back in the day, believe it or not. Oh, you can actually destroy the cameras, that's good to know. Oh shit. Who? Who shot me? Huh? Okay, that was, uh, that was weird. Um... I'm assuming there's a sniper around because otherwise I wouldn't get take any damage right now. My god, this control scheme. Yes, for some for some reason when you boot up the game, the, the, it, it reverts to uh, inverted controls, and I fucking hate that shit. Okay, that's. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. All right, you can go fuck yourselves then. You can actually stick stick those uh, mines onto the enemies, and they run, uh, run at you, pan panicking as well. Oh shit! Oof. Wow, these games are fuckers are fast. Bye. Some are still shooting at me. Who? I ask, who? There's probably some dumb fuckers running around down here somewhere. Wouldn't surprise me at the very least. Here's a game I haven't played in over 20 years. I did find the PS2 copy in my garage recently, so I may break it up. M man, playing this game is a massive kick of nostalgia right now. I haven't touched this game in over over 20 years myself. How's it going? It hurts. Yeah, th these these were re-released on PlayStation 4 and 5 just this week. All, the whole trilogy is on PlayStation 2 back into back in PlayStation 2 now. Xbox had them a little earlier for some reason. I don't know why. You were still able to buy them for the from the 360 market store. But yeah, there's definitely like the golden eye sound effects. Kyle, how's it going, man? And Psychotic Mongoose, how you doing, mate? I, I believe I said hi to you already, but still. A deal with Rhea. Yeah, that probably that might be it. Yeah, I can't do stealth very well anymore. I used to be good at stealth, but nowadays, yeah, not so much. Bust your fucking kneecaps. Man. Yeah, this this was re-released by Deep Silver, of all companies. I didn't expect Deep Silver to get the rights for this game, but apparently they did. Well, better them than T THQ, I, I suppose. I'm doing okay, Crimson. I... Managed to get some sleep uh, sleep uh, earlier, so I'm doing pretty well now. It's been a chaotic week with the, with all these night shifts going on. Got another two more work weeks coming up on Thursday and Friday, and then I'm uh, then it's then I'm off at work, and then it's off to the U.S. on Saturday. Can't fucking wait. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, deal with rare would be funny actually. Could you imagine Sony making a deal with Rare? Like, hey, can we have these games? This was made by by a uh, Free Radical Design. Um, they used to be with IDOS, the publisher of uh, Tomb Raider, of all or developer of Tomb Raider, of all people. 
it. I'm trying to sneak, but it's not going to be easy, I suppose. Okay, there's no power. Well, that was to be expected. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. See if that works. <laughs> it did work. Well, bye, bitch. Wow, did I just do triple kill? Holy shit. I need health. Oh, I got armor. Thank goodness. Man, don't mess with Klashnikov. Oh, fuck you guys. Haha, I got a grenade now. You need a lot of patience for stealth, but all guns blazing can be off. That is true. All guns blazing can be fun. Normally it is, actually. But, you know. There is a certain place in hell for people who don't like stealth. Apparently. Not me, of course. I love the cliche Russian accent that we're putting on here. It almost reminds me of Nico Bellic from GTA 4. Cousin, let's go bowling! You, remember, you guys remember that one? Nico Bellic? Roman cousin, I can't go do bowling right now. That's the kind of kind of accent I'm thinking of <laughs> whenever I hear that. So yeah, you you'll see a lot of time periods where you're like, how in the fuck did they think this would be would be okay? <laughs> Bye. How are you still alive? Yeah, appreciate it, Carl. Yeah, I wanted to re release some music, so I have something to do. Especially because I was very tired at work and I just couldn't think of anything else to do because most of the time the patients were sleeping when I was working on stuff. So I just released some some music just to entertain you guys and hopefully keep you entertained for the, for the time being. Oh, I got someone. Yeah, and that's the general idea of it. I'm still baffled that there's no melee combat in this game. I think they introduced melee in uh, the third game. Which happens to have my favorite goth, goth character. Of, uh, oh no. Oh, and so much for stealth. Again. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Boom! Oh fuck. Even the turning is like super old school. Well, the Dave the Diver music is excellent. I I really need to play this game because I haven't actually. Fun fact: I haven't played Dave the Diver, but I have listened to the soundtrack quite a lot. That's why I actually posted some of the music of it on the channel. Well, at least like the reworks of it. My god, this game needs keyboard and mouse, like, badly. There's a time crystal here. But I won't get it just yet, because I need to destroy one, cam one more camera. Right, that's done. I appreciate the love, Carl. I appreciate it. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Hey. <laughs> That's a good thing I did not walk into that room. Oh, oh you do have melee. I forgot. I completely forgot. I thought there was... I have a Mandela effect, apparently, because I, I used to think that melee was, wasn't introduced until the future perfect. Hmm. Huh. The more you know. I need that soundtrack on vinyl, by the way. That's, I love the soundtrack of this game. Okay, there's this dumb fuck over here. Can I get him? Yes, I can. Haha. -ha. Get him to shower, comrade. 
Good afternoon, Anati. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? How's the kid? Oh, thank goodness, health. Yep, that's definitely what I needed. Or oh, armor, actually. There's something about watermelons in the PlayStation 2 era for some reason. Like, almost every game had watermelons. Even Metal Gear Solid. Oh. Too bad. You're dead. Ha ha ha. Fondly remember Goldeneye Perfect Dark. Oh, mate. Mate. Perfect Dark used to be my jam. I used to have a hard crush on Joanna Dark. Tank crystals right up ahead, apparently. I also remember that allegedly you could actually do a wheel to pistol, but I could be mistaken. Checkpoint reached. Nice. I'm assuming there will be a lot of zombies down here. Hey. Or enemies. Well, oh, bye. Golden eye. Water. Watermelon. Dave, Dave the Diver's gonna be fun. Ah! Shit. Is that everyone now? Or is there more? I feel like I have to destroy those. Restricted access. Okay. Apparently not. <clears throat> Let us see what's up here. Okay, uh, that was dumb. Let me rewind that real quick. You can actually rewind on these versions of the game. When you, you fuck up, you can just go back in time. System disk request. Okay, that did not happen. Right, um... I'm trying to think now. Can I destroy those? Nope. So that's that. Um, backup generator. I'm trying to remember now how I need to get through this one. Uh. System disk required. Remember when you need to need a floppy disks to boot up things? Man. Millennials would be screaming for the top of their lungs. Gen Z wouldn't even couldn't even relate. Okay, so this is a lot of zombies behind those lasers, so that's good to know. Can I sh No, I can't shoot those through the lasers, right? That'd be hilarious, but no. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Bye bye! I forgot that you can actually control these cameras. Switch. Okay, no. And you can turn those cameras off manually. Floppy disk, I remember those. Yeah, see Natty? <laughs> remember when games used to come on floppy disks? Man. Wild times. 
Let me actually go down the corridor a little bit more because I feel like I'm missing something here. And there's boxes. I think this is where I need to es Oh yeah, this is the escape route. Retrieve the time crystal. Good morning, Rick. How's it going, brother? A whole stack of them for simple programs. Yep. Even Doom. Even Doom used to run on fucking floppy disks. Can you do you guys remember that? Doom on floppy disks? Man. That was wild. Oh, there's a fucker. What? Right. Fuck it, you bye. He's there's the computer disk. And there's the zombies. Yeah, I remember knocking those heads off all the time. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Later on in the game, you actually get like, uh, like in the third game, you actually get a baseball bat. The releasing lockdown, comrade. And, uh, I remember like um, using the baseball bat just to knock the zombies head off, which is kind of funny. So let's see if I can trigger the freaking. Uh, wait a minute. And the, if, if the, the lockdown. Never mind. Okay, I thought if the lockdown was released, the zombies would come out. Apparently, that's not the case. Let's see how far we can get to it. I remember when Windows came on 80 plus floppy disks. <laughs> right? Alright, let's see. This was probably a terrible idea. Yep. Containment favor, of course. Yeah, I, I, I thought as much. All right, let's get this, get this fucking shit started. Oh, right, bye. I can't believe I actually managed to get some headshots in. Man, this game had zombies in it before zombies were actually cool, believe it or not. I think that's all the cells open now. Yep, good. Imagine getting ammo. Remember AOL CDs that came came awesome coasters? Yeah, that is true, Rick. That is true. Why can I not? Oh, I need to grenade those, those this fucking thing. Oh. Try not to kill myself in the process, that would be good. Yeah, that does it. Smell it. But my mom had oh, oodles of them. Yep. A lot of us did. There's a surprise. So does that mean I have to go back? Hmm. Almost seems that way, right? Man, AOL. Those were the days, huh? Yep, there they are. Who's this ugly fuck? Well, at least the zombies are taking care of the enemies for me. That's good. Man, those old sound effects. <laughs> ah. Stay the fuck away from me. I remember you can actually play uh, monkeys in this game. M monkeys with machine guns. And there were big titty women in this game. I do remember that too. Whoa! What the fuck? 
Stay the fuck away from me. Man, that was Quasimodo's ugly twin. If that's even possible. To be fair, he does look like Quasimodo, so... What the fuck? Where, where did you come from? Alright. Come your tits. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Oh, jeez, I almost killed myself. That was retarded. Yeah, yeah, run towards the enemy. Run towards them. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sucks to be you. Hey, daily dysfunction. Good to see you guys, good to see you. And girls, of course. I discri dis discriminate equally here. I kill men and women in this game, so it's okay. Ta -da. Man, you gotta angle those shots sometimes. You really gotta. Motherfucker looks like Isaac Clark from this space. Right. Jiggle physics haven't been invent haven't been invented yet. That is true. That's true, Hus. That's very true. I remember when games used to make fun of uh, things like that. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you and your flamethrower. Flammenwerfer! How are you not dead yet? Okay. I was just about to say, like, how in the fuck are you still alive? Oh boy, flamethrower, huh? Hans, get the Flammenwerfer! The good thing is, if, if you're on fire and you touch an enemy, they go on f they catch fire as well. Oh, fuckity bye. Oh boy. Cutting it very close with the health here. I need to get to the bunker. I think it was here. If I'm not mistaken. But I'll have a quick look for health. Hope I don't die. No, that looks fine. Looks fine to me. Jigger physics are amazing. It is oddly satisfying to play Spyro Reimagine Trilogy with a chubby Spyro. Yeah. <laughs> extra thick, extra thick Spyro. Oh shit. That was close. Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> the sound effects, man. Oh! Oh shit! Can you just fuck off and die already? Okay. Man, this game is, uh... This game has no right to have this good of a soundtrack. Like, honestly, the, the, the music in this game is pretty damn good. All things considered. For some reason I have the... Oh, shit. Yep, the stock screaming woman sound effect as well. Wow, still burning. Still burning! I'm about to die. 
that didn't happen. Ha. That's a good thing with rewind, you can actually change the outcome. How the fuck are you still alive? Whoa! Oh, she's sat down. That's okay. Hey, Lance. How's it going? A flammenwerf is awesome. Yes, I agree. How am I... Does this one go up? Oh, it actually does. Interesting. Alright, okay. Beam me up, Scott. Beam me up, Scotty! Oh, there you go. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Oh, that's the helicopter fight, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. And you have to fight off the enemies at the same time. Not easy. Not easy. Whoa. I gotta run. I need to get some health. Like, badly. <laughs> I don't know what it was with PlayStation 2 era games where they always have to fight helicopters. Yep, that didn't happen. Let's rewind a little. Yeah, that's the only downside to this downside that you have to like micromanage your health a little. But that's to be expected. It is an old game as well, so. Right, fuck you. And I'm dead. All right. I just got to survive and get to the portal. That's the good thing about this the these re-releases you can actually rewind if you die. <laughs> Technically it's cheating, but eh. Who the fuck cares? It's about the fun, after all. I'm not too sure where the portal is anymore. Was that was that here? No, it must be it must be here because I think it was down here when you get through the elevator. I could be mistaken though. And is. Lift is taking forever. <laughs> I would have laughed if, the, if an enemy would have been in that lift and be like, eh, fuck you. Wait, what am I doing right now? Um, if this is the bunker. I do have the time crystal, so technically... Not cheating, it's a mechanic meant to be expo exploited. Yes, 
the helicopter's down, so that means... Did I kill it too early, maybe? I'm trying to figure out what the strat was for this one. The lift's here, so... Can't go up any further. Eh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. There are no rules when it comes to survival. No, that is true. That is very true. I'm just checking the bunker again, real quick. I am trying to figure out, like... Oh yeah, there you go. I think this is where you can change... Deactivate the communications dish. Wait, communications dish? Um. Oh, I think there was one in the main base, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because everything else is kind of... I can burn the... Evidence in the filing cabinets? Interesting. Okay. Might actually do that real quick. So there are filing cabinets. That's why I got a flame for. Might as well use it. There are no rules here. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm running into an enemy and he kills me. Which could happen, in all honesty. Excuse me. I think I know which communications dish, dish the game is referring to, and it's actually here. Because there's one on the roof. Might as well destroy it. Right, where are the mines? There you go. See? You know that choir gives me like Gangsta's Paradise vibes from Coolio? <laughs> For some reason. Okay, and Chrissy Mayer's husband. <laughs> oh no! Frank, no! Imagine having documents that could survive like that. Like, ex withstand explosions and stuff. Pretty silly concept, but yeah. The only rule of survival is survive. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That fucking door just closed in on me. How dare you. How dare you! Hmm, those files are gone. Any other files here? No, probably not. Let's see if I can blow up these boxes. Oh, they are actually destructible. Wow. You know, th there's something about PlayStation 2 games that amazes me, right? Oh, generally, like, the from the early 2000s, like, those those games. There's a lot of, like, destructible stuff in them. I think now that I've destroyed the uh, satellite dish, I can actually go. I'm already looking forward to the next level. Next level is going to be a lot of fun. Brace yourself for the 1940s, folks. So all I'm going to say. I can't wait to go to the US, by the way. It's going to be good. I love that there's so many people playing retro games. Like, you know why that is? Because there's so many shitty games out there. I mean, granted, 
I, I, I said this uh, earlier today on Twitter. I saw Angry as Pat or Pat from Super Best Friends tweeting about um, Concord, and he was like, "How in the fuck was this in, in development for eight years?" And then you see these character characters designs, and they look ugly as fuck, right? He actually posted a screenshot of all the character models in game. This the Concord was in development for eight years. How did it? How did it even get past the green lighting stages beyond me? I mean, granted, it's not 2016 anymore where hero shooters were like a dime a dozen, but man. Like, could you imagine, like, that game releasing in 2016? It probably would have made a lot of money. Because the hero shooters were the were a money printing machine at, that, uh, at the time. Yeah, I heard about Keanu Reeves being the original pick for Master Soul, and I'm like, why? Like, whose whose idea was that? I'm I'm glad Keanu Reeves was not in the Acolyte. I think Keanu would have looked at the script and he would be like, hey, yeah, no, thank you. And granted, that's Keanu. Oh, the, I see the portal now. Good, thank God. I was wondering if the portal would actually pop up now. Oh fuck you, bitch! You killed me. Fuck. Fire is evil in this game. Like, seriously. Once you're on fire, you're pretty much dead. In this game. There's no way to heal either, so... I'm gonna slowly burn the fuck out. Unless I find something to cool down. Oh, the shower, the shower, the shower. Oh! I... God, I'm glad I remembered that. Maybe he did and what... Uh, that's why we got Squid Game got... Also valid theory, yeah. I'm just blown away, like how how they got away with the with the acolyte the, the way they did. Surely somebody at Disney was, must have been like, "Hey, you guys might want to reconsider releasing this because this is stupid." But then again, there's so much brain rot going on at Disney. I'm not surprised that it actually got re greenlit. Haha. -ha. I burned all the evidence. Ha ha ha. I am so evil. Wait, I need to get to the dam, actually. Not this way. Yes, yeah, scheduling conflict. <laughs> yeah, I think scheduling conflicts is the, is the new way of saying fuck you to things. I am actually inclined to agree to that one. I'm glad Keanu Reeves didn't take that role. I mean, granted, Keanu Reeves did do some stinkers uh, uh, in, the, in the past. I mean, I can't speak for 47 Ronin or whatever that, that movie was called. I haven't watched that one, but... Wasn't he, like, in this Elliot Page mo movie with the, uh, the reboot? Um, I... I give benefit where benefit is due. Benefit of the doubt, Natty. To say the very least. I'm, assu I'm assuming somebody at B Disney does actually have brain cells. Scheduling conflicts. I'm busy maintaining my beard. <laughs> exactly, I'll come out. How you go? How you doing, mate? How you doing? Like, could you imagine, like, Keanu Reeves being in the Acolyte? <laughs> I mean, there's probably deep fakes out there already of, of weirdos wanting wanting him in the aqua shape, but you know, there's an interesting trend going on on uh, social media at the moment, um, and I, I noticed that last night when I was scrolling through Twitter. Some of you may have may have seen my little spat that I had with this little twink that was go coming into uh, Lily's mentions and calling her bitch, pussy, and all sorts of things. Honestly. If that if that guy would have would if I would have found that guy's Facebook page, I would have messaged his mom and asked like, is this, what, is this how you raised your son? All right, cool, success, and point break. Yeah, that's true. New character available: hybrid mutants. So here's a cool thing about this game. You unlock characters 
for multiplayer. I'll just show you real quick so you can actually get a rough idea. Um, let's go to the arcade mode. Arcade League. Yeah, let's do this one. Like, you can un unlock characters through this mode, through the arcade mode. Uh, let's see if I can find any more. Oh, that's the robot. Monkey. Team series. Oh yeah, so you have like different modes to unlock things and it helps you like get accustomed to the controls. Can't wait for the Thursday's update for the first ascendant. Ooh, do tell, do tell. Time split is story classic. Yeah. The one Shakespeare film. Good film. He doesn't know how to, how to he doesn't how to know how to stage act. Yeah. Keanu has a, a certain brand of acting. Let's just put it that way. And I don't mean that in a bad way, necessarily. Keanu is just Keanu. I mean he's gonna be freaking Shadow the Hedgehog in the in the new Sonic movie, folks. He's freaking Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh Shadow the Hedgehog, sorry. Hey, let's Turn the lights on a little bit more and let's go to Chicago! The next stop on our little journey through space. Big Tony's operations have got a little out of hand. It seems that his mob isn't content with ruining bootleg liquor and the usual protection rackets. Word on the street is that Tony has knocked off a shipment of priceless gemstones and he's bringing his brother in to expand operations. He isn't counting on a hard-boiled detective like Jake Fenton showing up. Tony's hiding up, uh, out in the Sunrise Club, an exclusive speakeasy. His goons don't like strangers. Showing up unannounced, so you need to get a membership card. Marco the Snitch should be able to help you out. So, interestingly enough, every level that you play has two playable characters in it, depending on how many players you have. Obviously, if you're all by yourself, you only have the protagonist guy. <sighs> Chicago. And I've had a belly full of it. Everyone's on the take. The DA, City Hall, even the cops on the beat. Being paid to turn a blind eye. But me? Nah, I couldn't. So I got out. It's all down to Mr. Big. He's cost me everything. <laughs> Mr. Big, huh? So tonight I sent him a message. And boy, will he take the bait. What am I worried about? It's not me that's got to tell the boss. And Francis can handle himself. Yeah, he can look after himself. What? He's back in town. What? He's back and he's looking for you. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Come on, you stupid. Oh. I want that son of a... I want him dead, you hear me? Dead! Dead. Yeah, we'll see about that. But from now on, Big... You better watch the shadows, because I'm taking you down. Totally look, doesn't look like a protagonist guy, doesn't it? Ultimate Frain are coming along with a personal quest with her backstory also. Ooh. Okay, so we got a sniper rifle? What else do we have? Oh, okay. And a pistol. That's good. Huh. Oh, shit. Mm, let's rewind a little, a little bit. There you go. By the way, a question to you guys. Did, did you have a hard time finding this uh, the stream? Because uh, apparently it is a little restricted for some reason. 
Oh, that fucker's dead. Uh, okay. The weird thing is you can't jump in this game. Bulletproof vest in the 1940s. Could you imagine 1940s bulletproof vest compared to a modern one? Man. Okay, interesting. So Mongoose found it fine. I need more people to place time splitters, honestly. Th these games are dumb. Uh, dumb fun. I'm surprised that not many more people are playing them, actually. Oh, you're dead, pal. You're dead, pal. You can even throw bricks at enemies. I got the discard alert. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, that's, that's, that's easy enough, yeah. True. Oh, bye. You have to walk up close to shoot me? Wow, what a retard. What a fucking retard. I deliberately tr triggered the alarm to get the enemies here. Probably not the brightest idea. Uh, let's go back and don't press that button. Surely there has to be a tummy gun around here because there's there's no way that well, apparently apparently so never mind. There's a phone booth over there. Civilians here. Interesting. There you go. Haha. <laughs> There's an invisible wall here, so it means I can't go here. Are you keeping up with the MA Monster Hunter Wilds news? I um I looked at a few videos. I'm very freaking excited for it. <laughs> well, granted, I will probably get it on console for now because uh, I, Lord knows I need a new PC, which actually make it run better. But I will make it work. Oh, yeah, quick announcement for you guys: I will be on uh, Moon Skull tonight. To play some tabletop with uh, Sevi in the gang. I will make a little cameo there tonight. So if you want to join me for that one, uh, you can. So I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern. So it's like 2 o'clock my time. The fuck? The fuck? Okay, wise guy. Interestingly enough, I thought that they would shoot me first. Oh god, that went horrible. Let me Yeah. Okay, wise guy. 
Yeah, th that's the only downside to Moon Skull. It's always so fucking late. Otherwise, I would be doing uh, watching it a lot more. But yeah, apparently, I am invited to play a German of all things. Can't say much more because I don't want to spoil things. But yeah, I will be there. So if you wanna, do feel free to join. There he is. What does he look like? Like such a fucking nerd. I'm kind of glad I cleaned out that building before I actually met him. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to pre-order Wilds myself, but... Remember, the golden rule is no pre-orders. And considering that these woke tarts on Twitter are actually celebrating the fact that there's no gender-bound armor anymore is kind of stupid. It has me a little worried that these woke tarts are trying to ruin Monster Hunter as well. Who the fuck is shooting at you? Huh? Oh, okay, there he is. But there's a fucker in the roof. Oh, never mind. Okay, now I see him. How did I not see that guy? How did I not see that one? You'll need a pass to get into the Sunrise Club. I remember when you had to like ma male and female armor a monster hunter. Right, so what we got? R drain the whiskey barrels. Protect Marco as he returns to his hideout. Obtain the nightclub pass card. Trust me, folks, aiming may look easy in this game, but it actually isn't. Oh, that's the... Okay. I think it's cool to allow more customization to your character. That, that is true. That is true. I just think it's dumb that everybody on Twitter is celebrating the fact that they de basically defeated gender and uh, want to like change the uh, figure me jig, you know? Well, so you have to be physically present to actually drain the whiskey barrels. That's good to know. It's a bit silly if you ask me, but sure. Oh shit, that was dumb. Mm, let me go back. I actually want you to punch the barrel. Okay, we're not doing that then. Weirdly, the Crimson Throne tabletop is on at 4 p.m. on Saturday, which works well for me. Y yeah, I don't know. Moose, Moose Skull or generally Geeks and Gamers tabletop have so, uh, such weird timing uh, times. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies! You're basically type body type two, which is basically just the addition to of boobs, I guess. 
Yep. If I were a biological woman, I would be fucking offended by the fact that I'm being called body t type 2. I'd be fucking offended by that. And that's just me, though. Granted, I'm not a biological woman, so what the fuck do I know? At least I'm not being called a birthing person, like uh, other people are. I find that term very offensive, by the way, calling women 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 that. It's very offensive. Hey, Robert, how's it going, mate? How's it going, mate? Yeah, fuck it, I can do the side quest some other time. Let's carry on with the story, shall we? I want to get as far as we can. How's it going, Steelek? How's it going, my buddy? Can I blow these fucking things up? Hmm. Let's find out! Okay, you can actually blow them up. That's a viable option. Interesting. I didn't know that. Apparently it is. Oh, oh yeah, congrats on the, wa on the watch hours, mate. Congrats. You're killing it, my dude. Mind you, Steel Egg has a lot of viewers, so I'm I'm kind of glad that he uh, he got the watch hours pretty fast. Steel Egg deserves it. He's been working really hard for it. Hey, cash was just uh, give me the cash. Okay, pistol ammo is always a good thing. Man, this is like a massive blast of no massive blast of no nostalgia for me playing this game again. There you are, you fucking asshole! Why can I not hit him from there? Mm, let's see. There you go. I was wondering about that. Hmm. Birthing parent, yeah. Birthing person. Yeah, exactly, Nazi. <laughs> Don't get me started. It's, um... Very offensive. My quality in life is having a cunt and being a baby machine. I thought that was uh, antithetical to feminism, but whatever. Yeah, modern day feminism for you. That's modern day feminism for you. Take one step forward and f f 20 steps back, essentially. That's what it boils down to. Not my rules. Right, bye. Well, at least look at it from this uh, uh, this angle, Nafi. At least you're not being the root of all evil. If, if something ha uh, fails in Hollywood, apparently the ammo this explode those boxes are explosive. Cool. Good to know. Well, bye. I need health and ammo. Like, desperately. I can't wait to play Future Perfect, though. This is... Like, this game's great. And plays great. But Time Split is Future Perfect, which is the third game in, in this franchise. 
Holy shit, that game is... Mwah. Chef's kiss. The controls are really good, the characters are fun, the humor is great. Look at this, look at this big bastard. Okay, the wrong number. It is men and women, exactly. There's only two genders. S sue me, YouTube. There are only two genders. So it always will be. Oh, I think I know why I need the why I need the dynamite now. Fuck. I need to go back and get some. I need to go back. All the way down we go. To get a stack of dynamite. Because Smoo has been retarded and used it to blow up a whiskey barrel. The Spanish would be pissed if pissed off their like oh, Yeah, they already are, mate. Spanish is even more gendered than German. That, and that's saying something. Th these woke tars are even trying to like change the German language, and I'm like, fuck off. It's already it's already complicated enough with daddy das all the fucking times. Make it even more confusing than that? Fuck no. Fuck off with that shit. There you go. I got the members card. Is this some guys out to get me? Well, there's a surprise. I got a fucking shotgun now. Hmm. Hmm, don't see anyone shooting just yet, but yeah, I believe it. At least most people are sane enough to not be stupid enough to call me birthing person. <laughs> I would slap each and every one who would call my future wife a birthing, birthing person, honestly. I would slap the shit out of those people. Like, imagine having the gall to actually call someone a birthing person, like... You know how offensive that is? To an actual female who gives birth? Like, how fucking dare you? In Bulgarian, we don't have a word for sibling. If you guess, ask Google Translate, it will say brother or sister. <laughs> so, there, there you go. Eliminate Big Tony, retrieve the time crystals. Okay. It's the equivalent of calling a, a breeding dog. <laughs> yeah. That's essentially what it boils down to. Good thing we have this radar thing because otherwise I would be lost. And the thing is, you 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 can you cannot just go up, uh, actively out of your way to change the language that exists. It's like changing the definition of words that actually mean mean a whole 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 lot of 
something else, you know. It's like changing the definition of inflation. And retards have tried changing the definition of that word. The fuck? Well, I'm gonna rewind that one. Like, seriously, who the fuck is shoot? Oh, he's up on the roof. Of course he is. Um, let me change the weapon real quick. Fuck you. I actually have to go that way, don't I? It's just stupid, in my opinion. It changes nothing. That's dead. Taxis and members only. But I am a member, so why can I not go in? I need to find the soundtrack to this game and actually... Like seriously, who the f who the fuck's shooting at me? Alright, let me rewind a little bit because I'm getting mildly annoyed by this. The problem is I'm gonna die in a second if I'm not figuring out where the fuck they're shooting from. Clearly somebody's shooting, but from where? That's a blimp. Oh, now the door's actually unlocked. Fucking shocking. They can come to me. There we go. There will be my terms and none of the above. Just watching the pathetic media and left hearts spin on the attack of Zerling. Zerling. Gotta lo love all these uh, immigrants, knife engineers that have some rights. Yeah, it's gonna go the same way as the UK. They're gonna defend the knife attacks and justify them for some fucking reason while uh, changing the ri rights for the average citizen to carry a knife around and def defending themselves. Granted, knife laws are a bit wonky in Germany as is when it comes to self-defense. Technically, you're not allowed to have a knife on you. If they pat you down, you have a knife, you actually can get charged for that. So, yeah. Peak logic right there. Oh, shit. Well, bye.
Anybody who's defending that knife attack is a fucking scumbag, in my opinion. Now, granted, I would have been glad if I had a knife back then when I when I got jumped and almost ki got killed. Nobody's asking me though because fuck it, I guess. Oh yeah, dual du wielding Tommy gun. Fuck yes. Give me that shit. Like the sound of that. Spicy nemesis are cancelling and hellable offense over knife engineering and innocent. I think the generals will just swap all places and will have a problem with the environments around it. Yeah, well, you're cu cultivating a you're cultivating a culture where you actually allow that crap to happen. That's that's the biggest fucking problem we have nowadays. There's Big Tony. There's Big Tony, and I'm dead. Fuck! I need reboot. I need health. Oh fuck, that guy followed me. Yeah, great. Just because my fucking gun wouldn't shoot properly. Okay, let's rewind real quick. Now he's dead. Not male applicable. Yeah. Well, I'm f fairly con confident on my, my testosterone level, so I don't need affirmation like that from from social media. At least I'm fairly confident in my manhood, so that's okay. I'll just see what happens if I get rebooted because I don't want to assume that. Return from checkpoint, that's good. Abusers always want their targets to be silent and unrestricted. Un unresistant. Yep. Always has been the case, sadly. Always has been the case. Always has been the case. But I have no sympathy for these people, Anthony. That's the that's the sad sad reality of it. I would feel more sorry for them if they would would actually give uh, give me an inch, but no. They always take the whole fucking hand instead of like taking it bit by bit, you know. But that's just how it is. And I don't have no respect for that. You can fuck off with that shit. Legging with muskets. Yeah, they have auto lock on in this game. That's 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 just how it is. I'm going. I'm playing. I'm playing on hard difficulty, and no, on just on normal because that would have been gripping my shit a lot. <laughs> the enemies just know, Rick. <laughs> oh, fuck you, buddy. Yeah, how am I doing health-wise? Mm, poorly, of course. To be that was, but that was to be expected. I want this, but not for the for the reason. Like I say, environment that makes it, it it is a problem, and the implications. Yeah. 
Yeah, ideally you want you don't want the implications, right? You've got to stop normalizing shit that shouldn't be normal. game. I hate it when enemies are uh, bullet sponges. Fucking hate that shit. I think he's dead now. Yep. Good. I need to run upstairs real quick to see if I can find something. No, the doors is locked, of course. No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm just collecting the crystal and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> really? Okay. Yep, time to get the fuck out. Because these fuckers will not let, let up. But, but, but my diversity, yeah. I can fuck off with that shit. For all that I care. You know the fucked up thing is I'm gonna be chased by these freaking crystal things now. And they're not gonna stop until they kill me. I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going right now. Which is the more annoying part. I think I have to escape through the tunnel at the beginning of the map. If I'm not mistaken. There's no way in hell I will survive it though because I have no ammo left. Alright, okay. Uh, drain the whiskey barrels. So I have to drain the whiskey barrels until I can get the fuck out. Well, that's, that's just fucking a... I think it's they move so freaking fast I can't even aim at them properly. I'm assuming they are mortal because I haven't played this game in a while. And I get no fucking health because game design reasons. Ugh. Gosh, fucking damn it. Oh, they actually die? Wow, okay. They can actually die. That's good to know. That's good to know. Oh, thanks for destroying the final barrel for me, you fucking idiot. Thanks. Let's get the fuck out. Yeah, let's get the fuck out before they, they change their mind. Because with that little health that I have left, there's no way I will survive another attack. I'd rather have the sex exclusive alpha than, alphas than this because it's not for the players, it's for the other people who don't play the game. Yeah, but... People, people, these fucktards on Twitter are actually celebrating the fact that they've defeated gender again. I mean... Pfft. If you, if you want to give them that, that small victory and give them the illusion of actually changing society, by all means do it, but... Don't get a, actively go out of your way to actually do that, you know? 
There you go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Whew. God, that was stressful. Big Tony's now a character. Notre Dame, 1895. Well, off we go to Notre Dame then. Notre Dame Cathedral. Night falls on the Ile de la Cité, and another Parisian maiden screams within the coastal walls of Notre Dame. The rivermen talk of a crazed madman leading a cult of undead followers. Who's this Jacques de la Morte? What devils does he worship, and what black magic does he wield? You must release the damsels in distress from the vault, dark vaults, and make your way through the cathedral to a confront Jack. But hurry, the full moon signals another black mass, and who knows what demons might be summoned within Our Lady's hallowed halls. Steak time. Yup, steak's always good. Steak's always good, my dude. Steaks are always good. Ah. The hour is at hand. The gates of heaven will be opening for me. Are you a believer, a pretty girl? The angels will come and you will see your destiny. So pure, so innocent. <laughs> so what kind of weapons do we have in 1895? We actually have a shotgun. Funnily enough, which looks exactly the same as the one from the 1940s. Anything else? Just a shotgun, okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's continue on. Yep, armor is always a good thing. Okay, apparently there's a way here. Oh. I 
find the timing of Uncle Martin's steak time statement to be, uh, relatively funny because I'm killing zombies right now. Okay, apparently the zombies are respawning here. Interesting. I forgot about that. <laughs> Wouldn't be friends without wine barrels. Of course the fucking gate's closed. Okay, that was evil. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But at least everything else about the game looks cool. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm looking forward to Wilds. Well, I actually like the new handler that you get, the blonde chick. Or is that the smithy? She looks pretty cool. Normally I don't have a thing for blondes, but... Hmm. Oh, that's like got some peak 2000 character design right there. Look at that. <laughs> yep. That's some peak character design right there. Where the fuck did you come from? Two palicos. Okay. Save the woman. So it sounds like the secrets will be mostly for just for transport. Yeah, that's what I what I gathered from from that. We'll see. We'll see. I hope they learned their lessons from uh, what's it? From uh, Rise and implement them properly. Oh, okay, that one was not a damsel, apparently. Wait, what? She's a zombie! Sounds like the golden love child of world and rise. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. Ah. Oh. Guess she's dead then. This level seems a lot more straightforward than the uh, Chicago one, which I appreciate it. I appreciate it, actually. A Luger pistol! A good old German Luger! Yeah, 
Yeah, before I get the crystal... Oh, fuck off, lady. Oh, shoot. Okay, so how am I gonna get her down then? Can I actually get her down? That's the good old question. Considering I've got Parkinson's aims, aim, I probably can't get her down like this. Alright, how am I get how am I supposed to get you down then? Is there a lever somewhere? A lever that I can pull. There must be a lever nearby because How else am I supposed to get her down? Spiritu Sancti. Ask her politely, yeah. It's probably a, a, an approach to take, Abe. Probably an approach. I think I need to... What's that here, maybe? Because there's a door. The door's locked. Figures. Mm. How you doing, Abe? I'm assuming I have to go here, maybe? Oh, no, wait. This is where I came in. And this, this, this fucker's... Oh, yeah! Give me that shit. Guns Akimbo. The good old Guns Akimbo. I like that. Let's check the map. Let's see what, what else uh, is here. So this door is locked, apparently. But why? I'm breathing, dude. I'm breathing. I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to be going right now. I'm assuming through here? Because that's the... Only logical way that makes sense. Yeah, this looks like it makes sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. I fucking hate it when enemies attack you on stairways and you cannot fight back against them. Apparently this one's invincible. Wow, what a fucking waste of ammo. Let me rewind that real quick. Whew. Now you come down here. My god, the game. Seriously. Okay. I'm gonna lure him out of here. <laughs> My Latin is showing. Well... I'm breathing. That's the only thing I can say. I really gotta run for it now. Ugh. This game would benefit from a freaking FOV slider. Quasimodo got a fucking shotgun. <laughs> I love it.
I'm barely helping, dude. I'm just... If she's dancing or panicking. Uh, both. I would say she's doing both. Looks like the door is open now. These zombies really have, ha have a habit of attacking in tight spaces, don't they? Fucking hell. Get my armor back up. Huntrug of Notre Dame, son! <laughs> We've got four of those uh, damsels now. Lord knows what he's gonna do with those. What the actual fuck? I forgot about this enemy. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, this shaky cam is no bueno. This game would benefit from a PC release, honestly. The, 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 the controls without keyboard and mouse are fucking horrendous, dude. End of the portal demon. There I did. Discredis Ilaman. The fact that these zombies know how to handle uh, hold a gun is kind of funny to me still. There's an actual exploit in the multiplayer that if you play an undead character you can just ask your friend to knock your head off with, with a punch. Then you're essentially immune to headshots. Jack has no chance against me. Uh, 
Ouais, pareil, Jack. Jack de la Mort is dead. Seriously, Deep Silver, release these games on the, on the Nintendo Switch. I need those on, on the go. Alright! Nice, nice. Good going, good going. Good going. Jacques de la Mort. Return to Planet X. Still got a couple of levels to go. Which is fine. I'm just gonna. I want to see something. Uh, was it ch uh, arcade? Yeah. Death match. Just so I can show you what kind of madness I used to play. Elijah Jones. I'll actually be able to beat this game today if I keep at it. Oh yeah, this. Oh, I, I remember. I missed this song. Yeah, you would. You'd be surprised like what kind of characters you can have in this game. Oh, fuck it, bye. Yeah, the plasma auto rifle. Kind of a spoiler for later on, but fuck it. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yes, I just teabagged her. Don't judge me, chat. And that bitch just lit me on fire. God dang it. Peak 2000s character design right here. Big titty cowboy girl. I used to play it quite a lot when, uh, when I was a teenager. For reasons, you can probably tell. You can probably tell why. I'm not gonna lie, the soundtrack is fucking slapping. Fucking love that. Oh, oh, bye. Yeah, some of the noises they make are very questionable, though. I, I'll, I'll give you that. I'm not gonna lose the fucking boss, who am I? Oh, bye. Ha ha! <laughs> I see two reasons why. I'm bibs. <laughs> I see two reasons why. <laughs> see? Chat understands me. New character available, Lean Molly and Hector Baboso. Fifteen kills in three minutes, that's doable. That's doable. I can make it happen. And we will. We will make it happen. Yes, give me, give me that. The laser gun. Oh, bye, fucker. See what I mentioned earlier with the zombie be, being a little unfair. That yeah, it's practically unkillable when he's got no head.
That laser rifle is pretty ridiculous if you charge it. Fully charge it and then let go. That's an insta kill. Yeah, many, many fun, plenty of fun must to be had when uh, when this game came out. You can play this with up to four people. I mean, granted, uh, the sound design is a bit, uh, yeah, questionable sometimes. I almost blew myself up there. Jeez. Where the fuck did you go? There you go. Bumpinano, bumpinano. I need one more kill. Come on! I was just about to ask, like, how are you not dead yet? This game is so stupid. <laughs> I love it. Oh no, somebody shrunk the enemy. 15 kills, baby! Now this is a blast on the past. I know, right? Hey, Farron. <laughs> I haven't played this game in years, mate. But it's out on PlayStation 4 again, so I figured I might as well give it a shot. I haven't played this game in years. What we got here? First in three minutes. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. For now. Let's go back to the story, actually. Yeah, I can't wait to play Future Perfect again. That's gonna be good. I haven't played that game in a very long time. Planet X. So I've actually got some decent weaponry this time. 2280. Return to Planet X. There's been a lot of UFO activity in the Gamma sector. The Academy has traced their telemetry back to Planet X. The Ozor and Mizor mocks have been battling to gain control of the planet for some time now. And we suspect that fact factions are constructing ships and launching them from, from a concealed subterranean base. Wing Commander Hank Nova's patrol has engaged the alien ships just inside the planet's atmosphere. Perhaps it's time to take a trip down to the surface and see what you can find out. This will be a tricky mission, but the fighting between the marks and marks can be used to your advantage. Remember, the Ozor and Mizor hate each other more than they hate you. Don't be afraid to fight for one side or the other, as long as it helps you get closer to the base. Reasonable. Wing Commander, you have veered off target. What's your status? Over. Base, the squadron's engaged with the enemy, but I've taken a direct hit. Yeah, they actually re-released um, the trilogy on PlayStation. So you get one, two, and Future Perfect for, I think, ten... Ten bucks each? No? I kind of want that game to be released on PC, though, because the controls are <laughs> fucking horrendous. I, I don't remember them de being this bad, but, yeah. Future Perfect is a great game, though. Love that game. I miss time splitters, man. Gotcha. Hmm. I love how the campy charm of these games, plus it's the, the rifle with Brithum. Uh, rifle with Brithum. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the humor is perfect for this game. Um, what am I supposed to do here? Oh yeah, down the rabbit hole. There you go. 
Yeah, you can tell the makers of GoldenEye made this because the, the humor is like... Cha very charming. You motherfucker. Get back here. I'm gonna die, am I? Did this fucker take away his gun before I uh, killed him? What the f- Ugh, Really? Okay, never mind. He didn't. He didn't. I'm, I'm just being retarded. That's okay. I can be retarded sometimes. Okay. Um, let's see here. Ah! Doing good, mate. Yeah, I'm doing well, mate. I just finished night shift early this morning, so I figured I might as well let off some steam and kill some uh, aliens and pixels, you know? I've been meaning to play this for quite some time already, but I never really uh, got around to it. Now, I also wanted wanted to have a good copy of the game, but this, this will do. I'm going to be playing a lot more games in the next couple of days. Dave the Diver is on my agenda as well, because I have been recommended that game. I'm living, mate. I'm living. I've got two more days of work ahead of me on Thursday and Friday. And then it's off to the US for me. Can't wait. It's good to see you, though, mate. Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. I got the freaking radar thingy. Six shot. Oh no. Oh, yeah, this is to fend off the UFO, isn't it? Is it? If that's actually still a thing. I forgot how good this soundtrack is, honestly. I r really, really forgot. Repel the beach attack. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Alright, let me just rewind a little bit. There you come. Ah, I need to run. Fuck! Ah. Yeah, I think this is a, probably the best idea. I'm surprised that they haven't released these games on Switch yet. Because th this used to run on GameCube, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least Future Perfect did. Haha! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. It would work well. I mean, having time splitters on portable devices? It's pretty much a license to print money. Because you can play these with four people. Is this like the perfect golden... Well, it's not perfect golden eye replacement, but it's close. The multiplayer is pretty fun. And the soundtrack's slapping. Oh yeah, the plus motor rifle. Heck yes. Give me that shit. What are you doing? 
You retard. Oh, you're dead. That's yeah, moving up here, I think. Oh no, not these things. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's the freaking cocoons, isn't it? My god, I forgot how annoying these things were. Whoa! Well, it's good to know, they're actually attracted to light. So it makes it easier to kill them. That's good to know. Can I actually shoot into this thing? Let's see. Nah, bugger. We can actually circle around here, good to know. Have you played Nitro Family? A mysterious van kidnaps your son. You do wield various guns with your rifle and piggyback whipping enemies who, who come close. That sounds fun. Uh, but no, I have not. When you said piggyback, I had to think of Army of Two. Oh, the homing r rocket launcher. Nice. For some reason I want to press X to jump, but I forget that this game doesn't have a jump button. I forget that we have two warring factions going on here. Hee <laughs> hee. Use that to my advantage. Or not. I need shield. Badly. Fuck off. I actually turned auto aim off, which makes it a lot easier, to, uh, to, uh, a, lot, a lot harder for me to aim at some things. But I want to make it a bit harder on myself, that's why I actually deactivated it. Can you actually. Wait. No, you can't. Okay. Never mind. There's the teleporter. Ha ha! I'm in. Indestructible windows. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Why am I not able to climb there? That's so stupid. I could have sworn you were able to actually activate the console in the middle. But apparently I'm mistaken. Oh, guess not. <laughs> Look at this distinguished gentleman. Yes, very distinguished. Boom. Ah, uh, you can't catch me.
Muhahaha. Huh. Apparently, I'm supposed to be in here, but the question is why. Oh, <laughs> well, that's uh. Wait, what? Did I miss an enemy? Apparently I did. Well, there's a surprise. Smooth missing an enemy. Not there. <laughs> Some Area 51 shit. <laughs> Love it. There's a... Something there. Okay. That's the people swimming up there. Okay. <laughs> I forgot how good this soundtrack is, honestly. Thank you to the 11 people currently watching. Amazing. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Hope you appreciate this little throwback gameplay right here, because I haven't played this game in a long time, but I'm actually having a blast. Despite like minor frustrations with uh, the control scheme at times. Yeah, you can tell the the music ran out of the loop, so they actually had to rerun it. <laughs> There's no other way out of here, is there? No. Okay. No. No, there isn't. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me get the map out again. Oh, this isn't it. I'm glad you enjoy yourself, guys. Like, like I say, it's been a long, long time since I played this game. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way now. It seems. wonder though. Hmm. What was the objective here? Let's see. Repel the beach attack. I did that. Find the UFO base. Retrieve the time crystal. Bobby Breen says that the video's been restricted on her end, which is kind of weird. I don't remember banning her or anything like that, so... 
unless there's a weird copyright thing going on with the US or something with this game. Which doesn't make any sense. But. I didn't see her in the chat either, so I'm a bit confused. I have to double check on my end if, if I may have accidentally like blocked her or something, but I shouldn't have. I'll have a look in a second. That's the only downside to this game. It doesn't give you any pointers necessarily when where you need to go. You just have to figure it out. Partially. Okay, wait. there's the UFO. I was inside the UFO. Maybe I'm just retarded. That could be a drug as well. No, she's not in the hidden users, so I don't know. That's that's weird. A bit strange that. Unless YouTube is having a tism again, which wouldn't surprise me either. It's YouTube after all. Right, okay, we're back in here. Let's have a look again. Maybe I missed something. Figure out where this is. Hmm. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. God bless, Smoo. God bless. There was a tiny hole in the UFO that I could have just walked through. That's just dumb. Nice. How many rockets? Mhm. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Boom. I forgot how busted that rocket launcher actually is. But essentially this conflict is red versus green. <laughs> or blue, kinda. So forget I'm colorblind chat. Partially at least. Oh this fucking guy up here. Look at this! Look at this big captain, big shot up here, thinking he's uh, he's the bee's knees. And I'm dead. <laughs> I think I said that. I guess I deserve that one. Motherfucker! It doesn't even. Yeah, I love the music in this game. I absolutely adore this music. I'm kind of mad that I never got into the music when I was younger, when the thing game first came out. Mind you, I was more like into like hippity hoppity music back in the day. But nowadays, yeah, 
This freaking slaps. <sighs> right, I need to figure out how to get some health because there's no way in hell I will survive this otherwise. There has to be health here though, right? Somewhere. Yeah, he has got the high ground up. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, he doesn't have the high ground anymore. Anik, no, don't do it! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I have the high ground though. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, the Google AI version of the I have the high ground is pretty funny. Especially making it, making it with the Japanese one. No, Anakin, don't do it! <laughs> oh man. I have the high ground though. I swear I'm not racist, but hey. Whew. My god, I need to breathe. <laughs> not the space bees. Not the bees! No, not the bees! Fuck off. Fuck off with that shit. Give me more! Whoa! What the fuck? Of course, that fucking rifle is still over here. No! More people need to play this, by the way. More need to people. Ah! More people need to play this. My god, English. I wonder if this has online co-op, actually, because it should, but then at the same time... Yeah, I'm being a terrible shot. I'm terribly sorry, guys. Should probably aim a little bit. There you go. Aiming could help. Aiming could help. Oh, F off. F off, mate. There you go. Yeah, that clip is pretty fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I could've... Okay. Apparently that was an option. I didn't know. Oh, I for willingly forgot. Yeah, no, I'm good. Piss off. Let's go up here again. <sighs> Shit. I have the high ground. Bit inefficient to kill flies with like a plasma gun, but that's just me. Feels a little in inefficient. My god, you f won't you fucking die already? Okay, apparently not. <sighs> what a waste of ammo. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Please tell me I don't take fall uh, dude. Oh, thank god. I thought I take fall damage in this game, but apparently that was a Mandela effect kicking him.
I love how these cannons look like boobs. It's like that Monty Python skit about the mosquito <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> that is so true, Nessie. That's so true. I wouldn't be surprised if the Prodigy worked on the soundtrack because this the soundtrack is very Prodigy-ish. Actually, let me have a look if these games are on Switch, because if they are, I'm in for a treat. So if mm. Okay, let's continue on. Reload, then. Multitasking as we speak. Gosh dang it. I fell off! Mm. See if we can... You can even do like filters with this game. Interesting. Change region. I'm actually playing the NTSC version right now. Interesting. I didn't even. I didn't even know you can do that. Interesting. I'm just save here real quick, just in case the game crashes for some reason. Okay. Find the UFO base. Retrieve the time crystal. Well, that's easy enough. Don't you try to multitask. Only women can do that. Nah. I can do it partially. Not fully, though. Must be pretty retarded to not figure this one out. Is it actually down here? Mm. No, this is where the UFO is. Disappointing news, folks. Those games are not on Nintendo Switch. Nashi can multitask. Hmm. Well, sometimes you just gotta figure it out. I uh, can use those rifles. I can shoot those, so. I must be a special breed of retarded to not figure this one out. Is it here, maybe? It's been so long since I last played them, so bear with me, guys. Can't be because this I actually fought here before. So many games that should be released on Switch, but they haven't yet. I mean, 
if you think about uh, uh, the entire catalog of games that's already on the Nintendo Switch, where you're like, yeah, this makes sense. And then you have like games where you're like, wait a minute, why is this not on there yet? I mean, chances are they might release after Gamescom, so... Although, wait, G Gamescom's over, right? It should be. I need to really think. So you go into the spaceship. Find that one platform you can walk on. And find that rabbit hole here. Yep. Good. Yeah, it, it probably is done, but I don't know. I have a hard time keeping up with, like, the conventions these days to be perfectly honest with you <clears throat> you would think it's right here somewhere but for some reason medical question how much is too much salt um, there's a certain amount of sodium you shouldn't be taking in because too much salt is actually lethal seriously I'm stuck I'm trying to figure out like where am I where I'm supposed to be going right now but I think I might be stuck. When you start vomiting, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually yeah, that's a reasonable answer to give. Don't try to Minecraft yourself, Martin. No, I think I'm retarded, honestly. Like The enemies are all dead. The camera's off. Actually, you know what? I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna take a quick break. Won't be long. Okay. <clears throat> Let's actually go back to the UFO. Because I have the feeling I forgot something. Fall off the invasion. Normally, there should be a portal here.
Hmm. I cannot for the life of me figure out where I'm supposed to be going right now. Maybe here? But this is where I fought off the invasion, so that's not the one. Unless I'm functionally retarded, which would, would surprise me at this point. here now. So that's where the UFO is. We fought up all the invaders. So in theory... something maybe this ammo Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if it's glitching or not because it shouldn't be. At this point, it wouldn't surprise me because it sh shouldn't really be glitching, but I don't know. I'm just going around the circle here just to make sure that I'm not missing something. Could be. I don't know. How's the little one, by the way, Nessie? <laughs> Yeah, I'm tempted to reboot uh, this segment. Because I can't for the life of me figure out where I'm supposed to be going now. We're staff of checkpoint. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. Well, there's enemies at least, so that's good. That hasn't happened before. Right, there's the enemies. She's doing it up. Doing my baby soup. Ah, oh, bless her. Good thing is these enemies give me free ammo. <laughs>
The weird thing is I can hear a sound. Like this vroom, vroom kind of sound, like this machine sound. Chances are I'm too stupid for this, but I don't know. A little frustrating. <laughs> the UFOs have been thought of, because otherwise the laser portal wouldn't open. Oh, well, the laser gates should be opening, so... What a waste of ammo, but yeah, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> okay, nice. Let me read that guy that I opened. So head down the path, grab and we're taking out the wussy aliens along the way. You're coming to an area where you hear sounds like insects buzzing. Go forward to encounter the flying flood-like creatures. They're a pain to kill, just run into the tunnel. You'll come to another beach-like area with a crash you for. Grab the weapon part in front of you to complete the homing launcher. Now you'll have to fight off the raid at the crashed UFO. Do what the objective tells you to do. Aliens will spawn at the edge of opposite of the UFO. Just take them out as soon as you see them. After a while, a blue portal will open underneath the UFO and some aliens will start coming out. Hop into the portal to encounter a time splitter. Okay, I didn't have that. There's no nothing else I can do here, really, apart from like jumping down here, so... I got this one then. Oops. And... Thank you. 
So this is where the UFO ends. Okay, so at least I got armor here, so that's a good thing. Still trying to figure out where the hell I'm, I'm supposed to go. I'm here now, so... Yeah, I feel like this level is glitched, because I killed all the enemies, normally this should, shouldn't be a problem. That's annoying. Probably something dumb that I haven't considered, but right, let me try to punch the mushrooms. Yeah, it's probably something silly that I haven't considered, but well, it's not that. That's for sure. It's probably something very freaking dumb. See. I mean, granted, I haven't played most, most of the level, it's just like two objectives that I need to fulfill. It's just, I just find it silly that I'm kind of stuck with, with with an objective, even though I've actually completed everything else. I mean, I've checked every corner, really, so... That's the only downside to this game. Alright, so let's have a look. Locate the crashed UFO. Did that. Fight off the roof. Raid at the crashed UFO. Find the UFO base. Retrieve the time crystal. Is it here maybe? Check every inch in every corner. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't like getting lost in games sometimes. Uh, especially if it's like something trivial. It's probably something super, super minor that I haven't, uh, I haven't seen or done. Even though it's pretty retarded that the game insists that I should do things, you know. I mean, I got the rocket launcher. I haven't wasted it yet, so... Let's go through the portal again. Okay, so going through back and forth through the portal doesn't do jack, so that's what I gathered. I'm even moving like the security cameras like back and forth just to see if there's anything happening with those. <sighs> Maybe I missed an missed an area or something. There's a portal there, but I don't seem to see where this is going. Cause I do see the, the blue hue there. I don't think the, sh the cr crystal's on the ship, to be honest. I, I didn't see it. Because what the game says... Or what the guide says is... I pick up the sci-fi handgun, I have that. Head down the path, grabbing ammo and taking out the wussy aliens along the way. You'll come to an area where you hear what sounds like insects buzzing. Go for forward to encounter the flying flood like creatures. Oh wait, hang on. Um, after a while, a blue portal will open underneath the UFO. Some aliens will start coming out. Hop onto into the portal and encounter the time splitter. Dodge him or search the outer edge for a section of glass larger than others. Head through it to go clockwise around this section to find the time crystal. Really? Is that it? What's... Huh? I'm confused. Surely that can't be it. That'd be silly if that's it. Head through and go clockwise around this section to find the time crystal. Head back out the clockwise to find the time portal. Okay. The thing is, this this is probably where the base should be. There's the camera. Oh my god. Yeah, a hint would be good, actually. Right, let's... Aliens will spawn. Yeah, we took the aliens out. After a while, a blue portal will open underneath the UFO. Some aliens will stop coming out. Hop into the portal to encounter a time splitter. Well, that didn't happen. I didn't encounter a time splitter or anything like it. That's why I'm a bit like, huh? You know, at this point, I'm actually willing to restart the level. Let's actually, you know what? Let's restart the level and see what happens. Right. Let's grab the gun and get the fuck out of here. We kind of know what to do now, so... Maybe the level just glitched out. Here's hoping it only glitched. Because I remember it being rather straightforward back in the day.
Yeah, video guides would be helpful, but yeah. It's probably something very stupid that I haven't considered. Right, at least we're here now. Okay, that's done. Good. Because usually you get a confirmation when things are done. Which we just done. Which we just got. I'm checking the shores real quick just in case I forgot something. Because chances I'm, I might have. That even gives me the sound that I have full ammo. Yeah, let's go through here. Plasma rifle. I'll keep the plasma grenades intact for now. I'll just use my pistol. I'll just run through now and don't bother with these fucking flies. Alright, cool, we're at the crash site now. I got a weapons part, so that means my rocket launcher is partially complete, but not fully complete. So this is locate the crashed UFO, we did that, yes. Fight off the rate of the crashed UFO, yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. So yeah. I'll keep the plasma grenades around, just for the time being. Maybe if I'm missing something. It's a good thing I'm playing with you, because I would have lost my fucking mind if I would have played by myself, not figuring this shit out. So everybody's- everybody's dying and everybody's- there's the aliens coming through the portal. So that's good. I right, got a triple kill. That's good. That's good. Right. Okay. See? I'm, now I'm inside. There's enemies coming in. Because, of course, they are. Should be another one coming in in a second. Maybe I just didn't walk around enough to trigger the sequence of enemies spawning? Wouldn't surprise me, but that would be silly. Oh god, x was playing Dust- yeah, I saw x Ray going live playing Dust Bunny. I thought that was a joke for a second. I mean, apparently she's serious about it. Ha! 
Yeah, let her play that game if she wants to, if she hates herself that much. Interesting, now there's an enemy. Maybe it's just some dumb loop that I haven't figured out and that's why they just spawn a out of thing. Yeah, dust spawn looks like shite, I agree. I'm starting to wonder how long she's going to play it until she gives up. Honestly. Alright, somebody just spawned in here. I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm running in a loop. Let's see what the figgy magic does. Alright, so we got the surveillance here. Oh, we found the UFO, but oh, that's the new objective, okay. And this is right below, so... Okay, so I've got all the cameras turned off. Ah, hey. <laughs> hey, Bobby, how's it going? Took you a while. What happened? <laughs> Have you figured it out? She's already got the Conqueror. Watch Rings of Power so this might finish her off. <laughs> X-Ray's immune system is boned. Like seriously, I have no idea how... how she survives out in the normal world nowadays. If she would still work in X-Ray, she probably would have a better immune system. But that's just my opinion. Right, okay, so we got this. I'm going through here. And there's the little, little hole here. So let's jump down here. And let's have a look. <clears throat> so that's the moron that I wanted to kill. So that's that. Dead. Dead. Next week. Oh, well, this weekend, actually. Natty. Kinda tempted to watch it, but. Nah. My, I hate, I don't hate myself enough to do that. I'd ra rather watch House again, uh, uh, and and what, and uh, because that show is far more entertaining than that piece of crap. Okay, I got the homing missiles. So, let's see. Shot a random alien in the dick. So there's a hole I haven't gone into. Interesting. Okay. Well, I, I've been through this one, but... Maybe I just missed an enemy? Oh, it's here, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah, I think I know where the problem was now, guys. I think I know where the problem was. It's here. Nice. So that's the rocket part. See? I got the rocket launcher now. Ah! 
I couldn't finish the first season of Rings of Power either, mate. And that's coming from someone who watched She-Hulk. I watch it for the memes, of course, but... <laughs> finishing that show? Fuck no! I can't wait for the the, the so-called fans to cope about that show, though. It won't be as bad as Acolyte cope, though. Because, boy, oh boy, I've seen some shit uh, when it comes to, like, s alleged uh, Star Wars fans. And it, it made my skin crawl. Oh, now you decide to fucking attack. Now that I've got my weapon out. Fucking piece of shit. Alright, okay. Let's get this. <laughs> I couldn't even finish. I couldn't even start doing some mandatory. Well, you ain't alone. Some people just didn't bother. Okay, apparently it's not here, so... It's probably something super fucking stupid. The ranks of Kangs. <laughs> the ranks of Kangs! I saw an e a meme on EFAP the other day. Statements that age poorly. Kang will return? The Eternals will return. I thought that meme was pretty funny. No, seriously, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, smooth and shit. Hello, baby. How's it going, my man? How's it going, my man? Nice. Right, so let's, let's wreck some shit. Made a body wash, test tested, gone bold. Joke. Turned out alright. Mm. That's cool, that's cool. Good to see you though, mate. Good to see you. I cannot for the life of me figure out where I'm supposed to be going next. Oh shit! I think I, I figured it out, guys. I think I figured it out. Turns out I was retarded. I think I may have figured it out. Yep. <laughs> it was the fucking path towards the bridge. Oh. Uh, so I wasted half an hour just for this. My god. This is- that's just... Well. It happens. It happens. At least I can say that I'm retarded. Other people can't. Oh look, see the UFOs are coming out. So I can actually shoot the fuckers. 
It's, it's, it was something. St I knew it was be something stupid because otherwise that wouldn't have make any fucking sense. Oh, I can get to shoot these UFOs. Oh fuck yeah! Give me that. I'll tell you this much, this game is much more rewarding to play than Dustborn. That's, that's for sure. It's not even close. Please sir, can we have some more? Some more? Yes. This is what we signed up for, really, yeah. Also true, Natty. Also true. Peak muppetry and retardation. Yeah. Welcome to smooth the gaming with smooth and smooth the DJ. Yeah, Dustborn or whatever the fuck that game's called. I have no idea. Extra girl's playing it, so she's got Concrud and she's playing that game. I don't know why she hates herself so much. Oh, now the fucking hatch is opening. Of course it is. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? See if I can kill these enemies. Ha 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 Fuck you, buddy. There you go. Let's turn this cannon off just in case. So I don't, I don't trust these enemies. Well, apparently it sells, yeah. Problem is, especially in this day and age, uh, it wouldn't fucking surprise me if the uh, developers take it as a compliment that streamers are actually playing their godforsaken game. It's like that freaking Concord developer saying, uh, you have to pay me eight dollars for me to unhide your reply. The kind of, what kind of scum shit is that? That's the camera. See, this only took me 20 minutes to get to originally. No, seriously. Yeah, there's, there's some, one of the developers from Concord is actually hiding replies that are critical of the game and tells people to uh, pay them $8 to unhide the replies. I will uh, talk about this on the Hump Day Chinwag tomorrow because that's, that's, a, that's some scummy shit. YouTube helps destroy games in a way. We no longer have to take someone's word for how it's bad something because we can now see it. Yeah, that is the same. I would argue it's the same with movies, though. I would argue mo movie reviews are just as bad. There we go. See? There we go. There's the time still just. Oh, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> You're both dead. There's the crystal. We did it, folks. We saved space. No longer will these morbid curiosities take over. They, they, oh, trust me, Nazi, they're not going anywhere. So, Bobby, what happened? Why, why couldn't you see the, the stream? I'm a bit confused by that.
<laughs> Neo Tokyo. Oh, that Neo Tokyo is a good level, actually. Although there's a little bit of stealth involved in that one. So I might fuck that one up. Bam. Let's actually get a little palate cleanser in. Three minutes in first place. That's okay. We'll get there. Movie reviews are a little compl uh, complicated, given you can't have the whole film. E yeah, but word of mouth spreads. That's the that's the crazy part. And movies are so amazingly shit these days. It is actually mind-boggling. Power ups, nice. Believe it or not, this game has a map creator, so you can actually make your own maps. So people can actually fight against you. Those fucking stairs protected the enemy. Wow. Oh, heck yeah. That's fine, I still got five lives, motherfucker. I miss it. I thought Fogger was shit on uh, a shit ton of fun. It's a shame it didn't do well. Yeah, I blame I blame the marketing on that one. I also think Blake Lively may have cancelled herself with with her new movie. Not deliberately, but she may have done it, done it thanks to the marketing. Because she marketed it as a fun uh, movie, even though it's actually a movie about domestic violence. <laughs> but she swears it's not about that, so. Saying that because of Ryan Gosling. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, you know, the hell you want, Nancy. I believe you. There was one missing part of the fogger the bounty hunting. True. The mode madness. Hey, Ron. How's it going, my dude? First place in 25 kills. Damn! Funny old thing, this robot I'm about to place it was actually one of my mains in deathmatch mode. First kill was me! Haha! <laughs> it was I. It's just dumb. Rocket launcher. Hmm. 
You can't actually harm yourself shooting a rocket launcher. Kaboosh. Imagine you're like robots in a factory and your bot is fucking you just start a deathmatch just so you can have some steam. That idea within itself is pretty hilarious. This game's so dumb, but I love it. The the deathmatch modes and all, all that remind me a lot of Quake, although a lot slower. Although they're a lot slower, yeah. I'm shrinking apparently, so I feel a lot smaller than the rest. Then again, I'm used to being being this height, so. You get to witness how it feels like to be me at the moment. Bonk. I love those power-ups, even though they're dumb. I think the spikes give you extra damage if you, if you collect them. was something stupid. Two more kills. Dang it! Not myself. Gosh darn it. It was 30 kills, wasn't it? Still first place, motherfucker. Still first place. Admittedly, that's the only annoying sound, the, the countdown one. Whoa. That's like ear cancer. First place, though. Ha ha ha! Good stuff, good stuff. Hello, Andrew Matthews. How's it going, buddy? Why does x go hate herself so much? I'm asking for a friend. Alright, let's get cracking on with the story. We're going off to Neo Tokyo. 2019. 2019 to Neo Tokyo Tech Quarter. Sadako's hacker gang has stolen a prototype cyber rig from the government research labs. Rumor is that the rig incorporates some kind of alien biomatter and is powered by crystal lattice energy. 
Fake computer records which the hackers planted at the labs have framed ghosts for the break-in and now police are crawling over the tactic quarter looking for him. The only way for Ghost to clear his name is to tail one of the hackers to their secret research area and gather evidence of their activities. Well, not watch the Star Trek movies, but watching Rings of Power. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> Look at those beautiful 2000s visuals. Totally not inspired by the Matrix, by the way. Look at that choreography right there. Kung Fury, yeah, that's a good movie. Mm -hmm. I remember that one. Man, I'm gonna get the soundtrack uh, on vinyl or something because this is way too good to not li listen to. Without being seen. It's a good thing you can see the cameras on the on here. God dang it. I feel like the Basil faulty sometimes when certain subjects come up in movies. I didn't mention the war, but I think I got away with it. The graphics are... Would World beating well for 1870. <laughs> well, you think, right? And this is a 2002 game that we're looking at right now. So it goes to show you. Some games are just timeless. Fuck.
How in the fuck did that camera just see me? Okay, this is bullshit. I don't have a gun on me either. No. They kind of lost the hacker, whatever happened to that. Let's see. Let me tear her a little. There she is. How did she see me? Let's again. MS Docs, DOS, baby. Yeah, MS DOS. That's the that's where it's at. So when the beeps come from motherboard, not graphics card. Yep. Very true, Andrew. Okay, so I'm not supposed to kill him. Good to know. Mm, guess I'm not doing that. I'm supposed to not kill her. There's a motherboard. Where is the baby? Oh, the baby got boards. Natty asking the more important questions here. Thank you. 
Let's do... Uh, I have come up to pick up my order. Fried rice with chicken. Anyone? Okay. Apparently not. I forgot the egg rolls. Nah. More or less. with this computer for some reason. Apparently that was it. I forgot for how overpowered the P90 actually is in this game. I love the fact that in almost every era you have a siren pi sil uh, silenced pistol.
Oh, nice, nice. Very good, very good. Let's see. Baby was going lap chops and dad was going at uh, uh, the dad board is at the pub. <laughs> Good one. Fucking die already. There you go. Okay. Retrieve the time crystal. Minimize civilian casualties. Retrieve the time crystal. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ooh. Considering how little health I had, that was inevitable. I essentially screw myself with that one. I wish I could run. Oh, 
fucking die already. How is she invincible? That makes no fucking sense. This is the beginning of the level. Never mind. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I don't need to see that game, honestly. I'm good. I think it's the Oh yeah, thank God. Woo! Right. Right, that was New Tokyo. Nice. Well done, well done. Let's set a go. Wild West. Let's go. And thank you for everyone who's still here with me. I was playing for four hours. Holy shit. Right, so 1853, Wild West, Little Prospect. The good people of Little Prospect live in terror of the Colonel, a megalomaniac deserter from the Confederate Army who likes to shoot first and ask questions later. He slandered the local law lady, Ramona Sosa, by putting up a false bounty on her head. Now she's slammed up in a gal because folks around here, around these parts just don't seem to know right from wrong anymore. But grizzled bounty hunters like Elijah Jones aren't so easily put off the trail. The colonel's a wanted man and there's a reckoning a coming. They say he's holed up in an old mine works where he's began to dig in for something more valuable than gold. Something that ain't quite natural. Uh, going to the US on Saturday. Um, to the UK? I don't know yet, mate. Will you shall see, my dude. Oh, oh man. Feels good to be here, though, folks. And thanks for being here, guys. As always, you are the true stars of the show.
Mm. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Are you John Connor? That started poorly. Let me restart that one. those little stock sounds they use. Whereabouts do you want to go, Andrew, in the US? Anywhere in particular? I think I need to blow up the door right now.
Mm. Hey, Grizzle. Big butter booms. Yes. I can't aim for shit. There you go. Shut in the ass, you'll remember <laughs> every time you sit down. Yup. That you do. Man, I love the music of this game. Help! What in the fuck? You fucking assholes, I'm trying to rescue a woman here. Okay, apparently I'm not supposed to help. Can't aim for shit with this in this game. Whew. I shot him right in the dick and he didn't die. Damn. My temples. My tipples. True birth control. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. You say that again, Grizzles. You can say that again. Psh, fuck you, game.
Bulletproof in the Wild West? I don't know about that. Revolver. My friend just started a stream but I had to mute because my do dog's looking for her so you can play. <laughs> Dang it. Hey Yanni, how's it going? Good to see you, good to see you. sucks. That's okay. Uh. One shot away from dying. How the fuck are you still alive? Mate. This looks like a fun game. It is a great fun. <laughs> this is like uh, this is like twelve year old me rediscovering this fucking game. Basically, <laughs> it is dumb fun. How the fuck are you still alive? Okay, there you go. I think, I think that's all of them. No, apparently not. There always has to be one dumb motherfucker who always has to try and stay alive. 
I'm knowing my fucking luck is probably somewhere where I'm not seeing him right now. Whew. There he is. Make you tap dance, motherfucker. Woo! I'm assuming it's up in this, this shed up here. Dumb is important, it's fun to have. Yep, that is true. It's a thousand times better than Phoebe Waller Bridge would be. Meh, well. That's a. Uh, that's a back in the compliment, but I'll take it. <laughs> I suppose. I'm assuming I have to take the coal. There it is, yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm not bothering with like this dumb shit. Okay. Nice. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. The colonel. Got four more, four more levels to go. I'm thinking about just doing one more and then call it for today and then after that we'll see uh, wake, wake up, 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 up it seems you're my guest once again uh, I don't think much of the hospitality you never take your death seriously enough I thought this had your stench all over it, Kalos. I'm pleased you still have your sense of smell, Mr. Tipper. Let's cut to the chase. Just give me the crystals, <laughs> and maybe I'll go easy on you. You are in Harry no to bargain. They will be staying with me. Has anyone ever told you you... You have a screw loose? <laughs> yes, but in two minutes, I will still be in one piece. Unlike yourself. Goodbye. Hey, look, we can work this out. Hey, can we talk about this? Uh, no. You got lucky. The likelihood of that happening. You still got the guarantee, Kalos. <laughs> that dude sounds like Mike Henry from uh, who did this Cleveland Brown and uh, Family Guy. What?
detonation in T minus two minutes. <laughs> Uh, actually, let me reboot that. He moves faster than the speed of light. Yes. I'm kind of cheating when I'm doing it, but it's okay. Because I just killed the enemies that were in, in the corridor just then. I'll take it! Mwahaha! <laughs> this saves me a lot of time and ammo. So I don't have time. Double sense pistol. Damn. Detonation in T minus one minute. I cannot defuse the bomb. What? What the fuck? Shit. Bomb detonation in T minus twenty seconds. Oh shit. I am playing this with my good friend, with my best friend. We like split uh, the corridors between the two of us. One went one way and one went the other. This be so much easier. Yeah, please do. Please do, sir. Something tells me I'm not going the right way. Oh boy. Remember, as always, folks, this will be re uploaded to the Gaming with Smooth channel, of course. So if you want to re watch this later on after the fact, you can do so at, on the Gaming channel. Bye. Oh, kill myself with fire. That's not good. Why did I walk through that crevice? That was dumb.
Where is he going? Maybe he's not trolling me. Fire hurts and gravity is a bitch. Yep. Bomb detonation in T minus two minutes. You aren't kidding, Andrew. I love the fact that enemies always keep panicking when they get a grenade stuck to them. They always run like a like a lunatic. Meg, thanks for being here, guys. Nine current viewers still. Holy smokes, people. You guys are crazy supportive today. Thank you. You know, retro gaming is a fun little thing to do. And I'm glad you're showing up to support it. Something tells me I need to close that valve even more. Was it really the fire to see? Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oops. Look at this asshole. Fucking asshole. Why did I die? It's almost like, well, like, can win and win in this situation. to make a run for now. What killed me? Well, okay, I can understand that one, but... How? Fucking how? At least I got some body armor. Okay, I took way too much time with this one. I might as well st start this one over. Because I dilly dally too much. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get the camera. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. Bomb detonation in T minus two minutes. Okay. Good. Trolling the enemies as much as I can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, you piece of fucking shit. These doors really hold me up as well. I don't like that. Come on. I 
this. Bomb detonation in T minus one minute. So that's where all these fucking assholes came from. I was wondering where they what they did. Stop diddy dying around. Cause uh fucker is actually taking care of it. Yeah, that was a legit funny glitch just then. Yellow jumpsuits, so you can't see where that they were with their pants. Yep, literally. Before they don't call it AK-47, they call it Soviet-47. <laughs> of course these assholes have the grenades on their Kalashnikovs. My goodness. Nope, not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Need to give myself more time. And. Apparently OBS disconnected real quick. That wasn't good. You guys still here though? You guys still here? Sorry if you got a little interruption there. Didn't that should, shouldn't have happened. Right, turn that shit off. Open the door. Okay. Well, at least you're still been here with me. Good to good to see, good to see. As always, guys, thanks, you, thanks for being here right now. Uh, you could be anywhere but he, uh, else, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. I'll take care of that bomb for you. I think that's where I lost, because I forgot to give that scientist a bit more time here. No, Abe is busy being in Stasis Queef's cage, Yanni. As always. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that counter is very fucking annoying.
I shot you in the dick twice and you're still alive. Fuck you, man. Full-time job keeping the cage clean. Mm. True. True. Well, someone's gotta do it. Fucking why do I can't stay go? I'll take care of that bomb for you. Yeah, please do, because I am running out of time. Oh Yanwich is not wrong, Abe. It takes 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 time to clean up that fucking cage. Takes an elite cleaner to do that, mate. Bomb detonation in T minus three minutes. My temples. Oh, Yanni's not wrong, Abe. It's, it is a full-time job. Remember, you're doing all of this for daily dysfunction, Abe. Always remember that. So you can finally finance a flight to see her. Time. So, I had a little bit more time, but apparently I didn't. What the? I have no time for the shit. I'm being. Oh my god. Sake. I saw me. My God. Gotta, gotta admit that's fucking annoying. I'm essentially stuck in a death loop. That's not good. Okay, let's do this then. Should I have grenades now.
Open the fucking door. There you go. Okay. Right, get the mines out. Where are the mines? Be very quick now. There you go. Go through here. Go through here. Door's locked apparently. Okay. Alright, got you assholes. Bomb detonation in T minus twenty seconds. That's totally not annoying. Bomb detonation in T minus ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. That was probably the last bomb too, if knowing my fucking luck. Bomb detonation in T so if you smash that fucking R2 button now. Come on. Okay, so dropping it, pressing bomb it too hard is not a good idea either. You have no idea how fucking close that was. You have no idea how fucking close that was. God, that fucking camera shake really annoys me. <laughs> I'm trying to like aim and then the camera's like I'm like a tism. How in the fuck are you still alive? My god. I love the fact that the healing items are so fucking scarce in this, so you have to, like, kinda run and gun for it. It's a good thing I knew the enemies were here, otherwise that would've killed me. No pressure. No pressure. Bomb detonation in T minus twenty seconds. Oh my god. Bomb detonation in T minus. No, I'm not gonna make that. Seconds. Not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make that. Five, four. I am screwing myself with this one. Three, <laughs> Yeah, let's restart that one because there's no way in hell I'm gonna manage that. How you doing, Tommy? Good to see you, mate. Good to see you, mate. Alright, let's open that door so I don't lose any time while I'm opening this fucking shit. Switch this one off. There you go. Fuck you! Yeah. 
living the dream. Back as well, and it's really fucked though. I take it you're playing WoW in a bit, or are you still, uh. Or are you gonna to chill today? Alright, let's switch this fucker off. Let's go. I got a mission to go to. Let's get that fucking ammo. Get the first scientist so I get a bit more time on my clock. Because the minute and a half is not enough. Good. You should. Right. Just chilling. Nah. Huh? Fifteen. Okay. I don't know where I'm gonna send the people then. Cause I sure shit I'm gonna send people to watch Dustborn after this one. Fuck that. I don't hate myself enough to watch that. Watch that gameplay. I should be done at 15, I think. If I don't diddly dally around too much. Fuck's sake, just die. There you go. Okay, those fuckers are dead. Good. Okay. How are you still alive? There you go. Okay. Reload. No, no. I'm not working today, mate. I'm not working today. I'm actually done with night shifts. Just chilling today. Just chilling today. Fuck off, game. Fire I, d I picked up a fire extinguisher. I'm very certain I did. I'm pretty sure I had one. Another game says, no, you don't. Huh? Alright, right, let me rewind this. Okay. So yeah, there you go. I got it. Okay. Okay, that takes care of the. Takes care of that. Okay. Should probably close the valve before I do that. Playing for almost five hours, but I want to chill for a bit, dude. I just want to chill for a bit because I'm, I've got I've got a little guest appearance on Moonskull later on, so I want to take a nap before that. I need to get. Wait, I do have a fighting extinguisher still. Why did the game say like, nah, you're not? Eh? I want to chill for a bit beforehand. I am being retarded right now. Um, let me... Yeah, let's rewind here. Nah, wait, no, that's... 
Let's do this then. Okay. All right. Okay, that one's dead. Good. Uh, scientists still here, so it's good. I'm hoping it's not going to be a, like a long appearance because I don't want to be committed to a D&D game every single week. No offense, but I can't. I can't commit to D&D like that. Baldur's Gate is one thing, but D&D, no. All right, run two. Oh, that was close. My temples. Wasting way too much time with this shit. Let's go. I think I took care of the enemies before I went into that room. So that would have been very awkward. Wait, huh? I thought- What?! Are you fucking kidding me? These fuckers were not there before! Oh, okay. Now they teleported through the door. Okay, makes sense. Okay. God, what is going on with this fucking game? I'm getting progressively more pissed off the more, t the more times I die. <laughs> this is not good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant this thing here. So once this door is opening, bomb detonation in T minus thirty seconds. T minus thirty eight seconds, more like. Bomb detonation. Oh fuck off! Alright, let's grab this piece of shit. Right off with that shit, right? Bomb detonation in <sighs> minus one minute. Oh, now it's broken. Of course it is. Okay. 
Okay, randomly die from nothing. Fun. Oh, that's the gas. Because I forgot to turn off the gas in the fucking room because I've been so irritated by this whole thing. So I have to close the fucking valve in that room to actually get across to the other room to get to that. Only mildly annoying, but hey. This is the last one because I'm trying to do something here. <sighs> Say less. Alright, fuck off. I get it that you need to tell me the time, or uh, but don't, uh, don't. It does get a little repetitive after a while. There's no way I'm gonna get through this. <laughs> Not in that short period of time. Bomb detonation in T minus one minute. I would have to run and gun. I I don't even have health. That's that's the only fucking thing that really annoys me. I I don't even get any healing. I don't have a fucking body armor or anything. To protect myself with. Essentially, every hit that I'm about to encounter is gonna be one shot, done, and done. Except the enemy, enemy placement. Bomb in Get me up there. Come on. Yeah, soon, Andy. Probably after I'm done with this. No, I'm not gonna make that one. I get the feeling the timing is very, very specific in this level. So I'm just gonna redo it again. So I'm gonna, I hate myself, so might as well do it again. Okay, turn the camera off, turn this camera off. Let's wait for the third guard. Okay, let's go. Go for the scientist first, so I get the camera. Of the bomb, which gives me a bit of extra time. I'll take care of that bomb for you. Please do. Yeah, I'll send you guys over to Tombi anyway. So, it's the least I can do. It's the least I can do. I 
should have just turned on auto aim, honestly. Considering how shit my aim is. Actually, you know what? That's actually not a bad shout. Fuck it. <laughs> Probably improves my aim too. Who knows? And voila! I actually can target the enemies. Take care of the bomb! Why is this retard run? Oh, now, now you do it. Now that I'm being shot at. Fucking asshole. How the fuck are you still... Actually, never mind. Don't answer that. Man, oh man. It's a good thing I know where the enemies are, <laughs> so it makes the makes the killing a little faster. I already have way more time than I had before, so that's actually good. Right. Bye. Two bombs remaining. Good. Gosh, that camera shake really throws me off my aim at times. 
I mean, you could joke like, what aim? You don't even use aim. Mm -hmm. Well, you would be half for a while. Piss flaps were open? No, they did. I got a lot more time compared to before, so that's actually a good sign. Remember how I was like running at 30 seconds or something like that around this time now? It's all about the efficiency, folks. It's all about the efficiency. Aiming at his fucking crunch. Why isn't it fucking die already? Okay, there you go. Now for a fact, that I need to prepare myself not to get shot immediately. There you go. That turret is done. Could do with some health game, not not a fucking am not fucking ammunition. Even though I appreciate what you're trying to do here. Bomb detonation in T minus one minute. I'm surprised the container hasn't opened yet, to be honest. Oh, look at that. This has to be that uh, one asshole sniping from the rooftops. stress but it's okay we'll get through this we got this we got this it's kind of sad this is this is this game is considered retro now <laughs> if you really think about it because I grew up playing this game so but it's kind of funny and sad in a, in a, in a way. Please do, because I need to get the fuck out of here. At least I don't have the pressure of time on my side anymore, so that's actually good. Finally home for school. We were at a rece recess before. Ooh! Well, welcome back, Bobby. Maybe this content was restricted because, uh, because of the Wi-Fi settings at the place you were at. That's what I'm assuming. That's why you couldn't watch this. <laughs> Which would make a little more sense. To me. Ah! Fuck. Why did I fall down? Whew, my god. That's yeah, you definitely need some rest, Barbie. You do. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to f turn off that freaking laser. Or the gas leak, more like. Because I think that gas will insta-kill me if I walk over that. Okay, let's see here. We got... Hmm. Well, there's no other way to go, so I'm, I'm assuming I have to go through there. But the problem is the gas. Oh, oh, it's timed. Okay, that's good, actually. I thought it was, like, infinite. That makes it a lot easier, then. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. be a way to trigger those fires. That f right, melee. There you go. Hurrah, I'm useful! Psychotic Moon Woos with the one membership to the channel. Thank you indeed, sir. To so Bobby Breeden. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you very much indeed, my dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's actually get the fuck out of here. Just need to kill the bad guy and then get the fuck out. That should be easy enough. Right. Oh, of course they spawn a fucking enemy behind me. Go fuck yourself. Oh, let's see, even the bad guy. Right, the fucker's dead. Oh yeah, baby. Dual wielding AK-47. Yes. Dual wield. Let's get that generator off the air. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad she refunded that game because I was getting a bit concerned that X-Ray Girl would actually play that game for real, for real. <sighs> Callus is available. Next one's Astic Ruins, Robot Factory, and Space Station. Right, considering we got through a good chunk of the game, I would think it's a good time to call it there. Let me just go full face real quick. Thank you very much indeed for being with me, guys. Um, 
I appreciate that a lot. It's been a good good stream. It's a good solid five hours, I think. Yeah, five hours and seventy minutes. Ooh. The Chinese manufactured AKs are terrible. Only the Russian ones are decent. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Abe. It was a hilarious watch, but she didn't want it in her collection. Did somebody gift it to her? Is that what happened? Oh boy. Well, it does happen. So let's see. I guess you know where this is gonna go, so I'm just gonna see if I can radio over to Mr. Tumbi. 23 free concurrent viewers. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Thanks for the likes and everything, of course. And so thank you to Psychotic Mongoose for the gifted membership. It is much appreciated, my friend. I will uh, send you on to the Tumbi, who's actually live playing the Zavao, because you will want to go there anyway. So I'll send you his way. Have a good one, guys. And as always, bye-bye.